Hi, everybody. And just like that, it's 7.30. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the night, but it's going really fast. So I'm sorry I'm a half hour later than I thought I would be tonight. But I'm here now, and I'm excited to be with you to make a cute little koala bear treat holder. So let me just get my stuff all situated here, and we'll get going. So I always have this there it is. Okay, now I can watch your comments come in. Yay. So, oh, what a day. It's Tuesday. And what is it? April 7th? Today it's my cousin Andrea's birthday. So I don't know if you ever watch Andrea, but happy birthday. So um, it was a beautiful day. I went outside of my lunch hour and brought my garbages in. And it was like, it felt like 60 degrees. And it was sunny. And now it's a little bit cloudy. And but it's still beautiful out. It's a good working temperature if you need to get any of that yard work done, if you have leaves left over from last fall to get those put away. So Jay's watching, yay, and Karen, I'm glad you girls could join me. Tonight's video should be super quick in case you have lots of other things you're working on or if you're trying to catch a show, but we're gonna make a cute little adorable koala bear treat holder, so. Hey, hey, so um, yeah, Jay, I feel like I just got something in the mail from you and I was looking, oh, your swap cards. I should um, grab them, but they're on the other side of the room. So you are very uh, much of an overachiever for the month of April. Um, Jay and I participate in a swap with a few other fellow demonstrators. Hey, Kelly's watching, yay, Kenna, Karen's watching as well. So thanks for joining, girls. So Jay and I participate in a swap and they're not due to be mailed until the 24th of the month. And she had them delivered already by yesterday, April 6th. So I think it was the 6th yesterday. I'm not sure. My days are all starting to meld together recently. But I'm happy to be here with you on a fabulous Tuesday night stamping. It is date night. It is Tuesday. And Tyler's actually outside working on the garden shed. So um, he, he's trying to get as much done in the little bit of daylight that we have left. So, um, yes, it was, hi, Kathy Miller, you're watching, yay. I just saw that you were live on Kelly's group. So, um, all right, girls, so I'm going to flip my camera down so you can see what we're working on. I got all the technology figured out. Right after I got done being live last night, I figured out I needed, all I had to do was hit a button and it switched the setup of the cameras. So, hey, Peggy, thanks for joining. Okay, so tonight we're gonna be making this cute little adorable treat holder. So, Kathy Miller, you may remember, hi, Rhonda. Um, this was one of the 3D swaps that I believe we got for the occasion's jamboree. So, um, I don't remember if it was Lisa Nealon who made it or if it was somebody else, but I did not make it myself, but I thought it's so cute. I'm gonna show you girls how easy and fun it is to make this. Um, I got all the measurements. Hi, Char, from Amro, Wisconsin. Yay, thanks for joining. Um, I have all the measurements, and it took me three tries to get this figured out. Hey, Nancy Billets, a fancy Nancy. Bonnie's watching, cool. Okay, so this little treat holder features the Bonanza Buddies dies and stamp set. And this is currently on back order. It's in that little lot of back ordered madness with some, there's like, I don't know, a handful or a half a dozen um, bundles that are on back order. And Bonanza Buddies is on back order, but it is not out of stock for good. Once it comes back in stock, it will be available, but I do feel like a lot of people are waiting for this. So, hey, Brenda. Um, hey, Angie. A lot of people are waiting for this. So if this is on your wish list, you better let me know via any way you can just to say, hey, Chris, when this comes in, I want one and we'll get it taken care of and get it ordered. I'll make sure to get it for you. So just know that it is available. I think it's supposed to be in quote unquote. You can see my little bunny ear quotes. It's supposed to come in the middle of April. So that's what the last I saw. So we're going to be using this tag die for it. So that's what's super cool in this. The stamp set has a little koala bear. Hi, Julie. It has a toucan Sam and it has a lion that you would never guess is a lion. So once you stamp his body, you stamp his mane, you stamp his little adorable face. And um, there's a little bit here that his tail gets put on there. So yeah, the weather might have something to do with it, Char. I notice it's kind of cloudy, overcast, and a little bit sketchy with the rain out there. It's like it wants to rain, but it doesn't know how to right now. So that hopefully it comes through. So this little tag is part of the dye. So the dyes, hey, Don, there's the toucan, the, t the lion, the koala. There's a little pennant here. There's some party pennants that hang out here and then a little circle that goes with the balloon over here. So, hey, Diane. So uh, what I did ahead of time is I did a little bit of the die cutting 
early. So what I did is you're gonna need two of these tags that get die cut. So I've done two of them just like that. Yeah, Diane's saying hi to everybody. We got a good group on here tonight, girls. I love it. So I've already cut that out. And the little guy here. So when you stamp your koala, if this is like what I call two-step stamping. And um, his face must have fallen off of my board as I walked down the steps because I had a couple things fall off. So, so he is, what I did is I stamped him in smoky slate. So because it's a photopolymer stamp, you're definitely going to want to use like a mouse pad or that foam mat, like um, the dimensional, not the dimensional, the foam mat, piercing mat underneath it. So here's your smoky slate. And then what you're going to do is follow up with his face. And the koala has this cute little face like this, and it's little, so you gotta be careful not to lose the stamp. And mine's on a block, it just fell off. But what I did is I stamped that in basic black. And then I used the die cut to cut it out. Now some of you see that I, I haven't been showing the die cutting on the camera, but if you ever, hi Elaine, if you ever have questions about how to die cut, let me know. But I have this low tack artist tape that I use to hold this down. Even though I have a magnetic platform, it really helps to put a little bit of tape on there so he doesn't wiggle around on you. So that's what I did for cutting that out. So I've got my little koala all prepped. And I have here a white two inch circle. So remember last night I used the two inch circle punch? Here's another one that we use that two inch circle punch. If you're wondering what punches are great to use, the two inch is by far one of my favorites. Okay. Then there's a little bit more that I did for prep work. In this stamp set, there is a saying, and it says, let's celebrate you because you girls are also fabulous. Let's celebrate you tonight. So what I did is I stamped that on a piece of Whisper White, and ta-da, pull out your stitched rectangles, girls. I've said it three times now since I started doing these Facebook Lives. You need these in your arsenal. If you don't have them, let me know. I can help you get them. So stitched rectangles, it's the teeny tiny littlest rectangle. And I did also use the tape on here to hold it so it wouldn't wiggle. So that's where I pulled that stitched rectangle from. So I've got that prepped and ready to go. And oh, here's my black ink pad. <laughs> and then for the color on the Let's Celebrate You, I used Bermuda Bay and I just stamped that. And again, it was a photopolymer stamp, so I used a piercing mat underneath that. So. That's my ink colors. That's a little bit of the tools I used. I sell all of this stuff. So make sure that if you need anything, if you're on my team or a fellow demonstrator, order it from yourself. But by all means, if you aren't and you need a demonstrator to shop from, I would love to help you. The one thing I wanna point out on this guy right there, hi Mary, this die, it's really important that when you cut this out, that you cut your paper the right way. There is an up and down to this DSP. And so when you put your die on here, you want your DSP to be going up and down, not upside down or sideways like that. So that's just a little editor's note here. So now what it comes down to is like, we gotta make this little insert box thing here. So I've got one here prepped so that you can kind of see. I like think this is my fourth box that we've made in a row. And so I've gotten pretty good at this. So. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I will show you the measurements and my chicken scratch, it took me three times to figure this out, but I've got them here. So if you like to see while I talk about it, then you can see. So I've got this piece of paper is two and three quarters this way. So the short way, two and three quarters. The long way is at six inches, okay? So we've got two and three quarters by six. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my scoreboard and I'm gonna tell you the measurements of the scoring while I score it. Now this is like the fourth time that I've brought this big board out for you to see it. It's awesome. It is the Simply Scoreboard. It's $30 and it comes with a stylus and a few of these guys right here. So it's very a very good, nice piece of equipment to have for when you're working with making boxes or anything that needs to be scored. So. On my measurements here, we have on the two and three quarter inch side, you score at two. So here I've got two and three quarters. My little guy is still set from yesterday. So we're gonna score this at two. So find the little track and go down. It's really important that when you do this, you don't have your hand over here and try to go. I find that it jumps ship on me. I say that like it, it like jumps the track. So I try to make sure that my stylus is facing the same 
angle as the track of these grooves is or are. So go like that. Boom. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to adjust the paper 90 degrees. And now you've got your six inches across the top. You're going to score at three quarters, two and three quarters, three and a half, and five and a half. And then your end is six there. So that's three quarters, two and three quarters, three and a half, and five and a half. Now, I like, so like my first one's three quarters, and I have a hard time getting into the corner and getting it straight. So what I like to do is on the first one, I work backwards. So I'm at six, and I'm gonna just go back three quarters of an inch, and then I'm just gonna flip my paper around so I don't have to try to contend with this little tight corner area. I find that I miss the groove a lot when I'm trying to work within like three quarters of an inch or less. So now I've got my three quarters. Now you're gonna come up to two and three quarters. The next one is three and a half. And the next one is five and a half. And that leaves us with a little half inch gap here on the end. Perfect. So Rhonda loves her scoreboard and so does Char. I love it. So if you don't have this, this I was gonna say this bad boy, you wanna get one. <laughs> so oh, they're awesome. All right, so I'm gonna leave the measurements sit right here in case you wanna zoom in on the camera. Again, I wanna call out that if you're watching this and you ever find that I work a little bit too fast for you, you can replay the video at the end once I'm done with it. So also just a reminder, girls, give me some love, like and share and comment on the Facebook post. Um, I didn't pull a winner for yesterday's, but I think when I looked at the likes, shares and comments, I saw that Miss Naughty Nancy was on there. So Naughty Nancy's gonna win from the video from yesterday. So she had, she hasn't won yet and I, um, I, she just got back from, honestly, this poor, I don't want to say poor, but Naughty Nancy got holed up in a hotel in Wauwatosa. She was in Las Vegas at the beginning of the month, and she self-quarantined herself for like three weeks or so because she didn't want to go home and possibly give it, if, if she had something to her, her husband, and she didn't have anything. She was completely fine, but she had no crafting supplies. Hi, Dawn. So everybody sent out a sad face for Nancy because it was so sad she had nothing that she could work on crafting related. I even offered to, <laughs> to send her some paper pumpkins, and she just, she said no. So, so yes, okay, so Naughty Nancy, this you won yesterday's prize. <laughs> so, all right, so we've got this. So you saw how I pulled out my bone folder. Always keep your bone folder by you. It is a great tool to have as well. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make my paper snips. So yeah, somebody gave Nancy a little sad face. I know it was sad, but she's back home now and everything's, I think, good. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our snippings here. So I'm gonna hold this the same way. So I'm gonna start from my right side here, and this is the three-quarter panel. And so what I want is, on the bottom of my box here, I want these rectangles to be um, straight, like so these sides to be as straight as possible. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take my snips and trim just to the left of the score line so that that score line isn't seen on the bottom. And then I'm gonna take and cut a little baby triangle out of there and um, I'm also gonna cut a little baby triangle on that side. So that's a tab that goes on the inside. In this case now, um, I'm gonna cut to the right of the score line, and then basically I'm cutting that score line off by making that little triangle. This case, I'm gonna um, snip on the left side of the score line and cut my little baby triangle out. So I'm basically making my slants on these little shorter windows. Now this guy is the guy that is the little bit that gets cut off. So we just, I'm cutting right, I'm basically cutting the score lines off. So I think I just gotta, gotta, uh, I gotta go on a hair there. I gotta, gotta, gotta go right now. <laughs> All right, so let's get my little baby scraps out of the way. All right, so far so good. Yes, we're happy that Nancy is back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the tear and tape. Tear and tape is great for these kind of projects. I think um, it's super, super strong and it won't pull apart over time. So what I'm gonna be doing is putting a little strip right here, and that's gonna help me with closing the box. Okay, so I'm gonna take that off right away. Now this is the trick, girls, for when you do boxes. 
So all you have to do, as long as you've scored this good, is all you should do is just kind of, I've got my tear and tape down here. I'm just folding this one flap in half here. And basically that's lined up really good. So that is how I put that together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on these bottom flaps. And you can see here that I did not really um, bone fold this, so it didn't kind of fold really nice for me. So I'm gonna do that really quick here so that those creases are nice and sturdy. Everybody doing okay? Send me some love if you are. I would like to see hearts and smiley faces. I always know when I send text messages out, I'm sending everybody little happy faces, um, little rays of sunshine and hearts. So, okay, so there we go. That's I've got that scored now, um, bone folded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep a little bit here with some more tear and tape. So let's look at how we wanna do this. I want this one to be here. Yay, hearts, love, I love it. <laughs> so I don't know if you girls realize it, but what I'm saying is actually like maybe 30 seconds behind you. So when I see stuff come through, I don't even know sometimes what it's for. <laughs> I have, have to go back and rewatch the video like you girls sometimes do. So I've got this prepped with the tear and tape. And now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put my little baby tabs in here and I'm gonna prep them with a little bit of glue. So I'm gonna, now, <laughs> this box is a lot smaller than the ones I've been working on. So here we go, a little bit of glue. And so that's just to prep it so that I don't have to like do that from the inside later. So now what's gonna happen is that guy's gonna go down flat and you just wanna hold your box as straight as you can while you do this. And then that one's gonna go down. Oh, you're loving the live, it's the Stampin' Live videos. I am so happy I can do this. You know, I'll have to be honest with you girls. It was probably March 20th and I was beside myself and I didn't know what I was gonna do because primarily everything I do is per in person. I've always been thinking about doing live classes, um, online classes, and I just, it's never worked out. And my mom pulled me out of wherever I was and she's like, well, just start doing your online stuff like you keep talking about. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you're so right, mom. Moms are the best. And those of you who know my mom, <laughs> she's like the best mom that a girl could have. So I'm very, very fortunate. So, all right. So we got that little box um, all put together. And so because of my mom, I ha you girls are getting me live almost every day of the week. <laughs> so, um, all right. So here, I'm gonna bring this guy out so you can see what's gonna happen next. So you've got your little tags like this. So basically, we're gonna glue the one on to the one side and we're gonna glue the one onto the back. And then all they really do is they come together at the top with a little bit of ribbon. So, okay, um, all right, yay, Angie looks forward to this every day. I love to hear that. You know, it's so funny. So last week, Friday, I was gonna go live and I was gonna do that Easter basket. And I told you all about it on Thursday night. And it got to be like eight o'clock on Friday night. And I'm like, oh, should I do it or not? And it was Angie who said to me, when are you going live? And I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I need to do this. I made a promise. And so I can't break my promises. So that's what you got the Easter basket. Yes, yeah, my mom is awesome. Okay, so look at that. There's one. Now we're gonna put the other one on here. So that is why it was important that you put your DSP behind the die right because because of the direction of the paper, you don't want it to be upside down. Okay, all right, so far, so good. Yeah, you girls are awesome. You girls even send my mom thank you cards, I love it, so. All right, so there's that. And then we have this little two inch circle. So I don't know if it happens to you and you may not even see this so well in the video, but sometimes when you punch, it leaves these little, I call them snaggle tooths on the side here. They're just like paper fraying. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll take my scissors and do this, but I'll be honest with you. I just watched a video that Tara Stay did. She's a friend of mine and she took like an emery board and she just went around the edge with an emery board and it took all those little fuzzies off of there. So, okay, so that's another trip for trick. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop this white circle up with some dimensionals and you can see here, I used a scrap of paper. I had some petal pink stuff stamped on there. I have a whole pile full of scraps that I keep for little pieces like this that I need. All right, 
So you like the treat containers. So Angela had a suggestion for me too. I know I've been doing lots of little treat containers and 3D projects, but Angela suggested that I also build in some techniques with you girls. So like instead of doing a whole 3D project, maybe it's showing you this cool sponging technique or how to use a sponge brayer or how to do heat embossing. I mean, some of that you might know, but I think what I'll do is I'll start to go through a list of different techniques that I know and I will show you different things. So in the, like samples of cards that are made with them. So, all right, so I got my little koala bear. You know, when I grew up, I had a koala bear, a stuffed animal that was a koala bear. And I loved that koala bear. I took it with me everywhere in the house. So that's why when I saw this, that it was the koala bear <clears throat> that I loved the most. So, all right, so I'm gonna <laughs> scoot him over. All right, so now what's left is Actually, there's two things left. This is the Let's Celebrate You. Now you can see that that quite doesn't fit on there quite right. So don't be afraid like if you do die cut out something just to take your scissors and snip the ends off of it. So it looks cool that they're stitching all the way like on the top and bottom, but it's quite all right that you don't have stitching on the side. You know, nobody's going to say, oh my gosh, there's stitching missing from there. So um, I'm going to wait and put that on though after I've done my ribbon. So Daffodil Ruched Ribbon. I love it. It is, I think Ruched Ribbon is one of my favorite ribbons. It's so easy to work with when you make a bow with it. I'm going to see if that will work. Ah, it kind of got messed up on me, but I was going to try to, okay, 100% of the time I use a bow maker to make bows, but I just wanted to show you how pretty this ribbon was for tying a bow. It like, it's very pliable. And so it makes it so like, the, the tails will go where you want them to and the ribbon goes where you want it to. So this is off of back order, I believe now. Um, if it's not, I'm sorry, but it's not like it's not orderable, but I'm pretty sure I just got some from my back orders um, in the mail recently. So, okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is, <laughs> I'm always <laughs> taking from one to put in the other. So you're gonna get here some gold nuggets in there and what you're gonna do is, I like to, instead of cutting the ribbon, because you might not know how much you need, what I wanna do is just kind of figure out how much I need before I cut it. I'm definitely gonna pull in, I have my scissors marked with ribbon, glue, and paper, and I always use ribbon with ribbon. So, hi Cindy, thanks for joining. You can watch the replay later and catch it from the beginning. So, okay, so that's what we're gonna do for this, and I will trim these just a little bit, I feel like, they're just a little bit longer than what I'd want them. Okay, and then what we'll do here is, we're gonna pop that up with dimensional. So Cindy, I got an email from you today that you needed envelopes. So I just wanted to let you know that I did get that email. So I will message you later on that. Okay, so we're popping that up with some dimensionals. Oh, sad face. I'm gonna have to cover up my cute little koala unless I go up higher. Hmm, I'm gonna do it because this way then I see a little bit of um, the toucan. Oh, I'm cutting off his head. What do you girls think? Let's just do it. He's just decapitated. Oh, well. <laughs> poor little guy. And poor little lion got covered up. <laughs> I do like this paper. It's super cute. If you girls know me, I love cute little things. Like, they're adorbsy to me. Like, that's a new word for adorable. So, um, Bonnie's laughing at me right now if she's hearing me say adorbsy. But, yeah. So, they're all over. So, you get enough of them. So, <laughs> so, what did Jay say here? I've used so much of that ribbon lately. Yes, the ribbon is gorgeous. So a little bit goes a long way with that one. So definitely want to get yourself an extra one. If you only have one and you've partly used it, get yourself a second one so you have one. Okay, so just to recap, the dimensions were two and three quarters by six. On the two three quarter inch, score at two. And on the six inch side, you're scoring at three quarter, two and three quarter, three and a half and five and a half. Super, super simple for this cute little treat box. So Angela says here, we, we make cards with this paper. Brandon was sad he did not have any birds. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> so yeah, the birds are cute. And use your blends to, when you have your birds, use your Stampin' Blends to color in his little, little beak. So, oh, hi, Elizabeth. Thanks for watching. So there it was. That was pretty quick. Like, I think we made that treat holder in about 15 minutes. So super excited. You girls are making me like, kind of not like get out of my comfort zone, but I don't generally make a lot of 3D projects. So it's think I'm very thankful that I participated in that 3D swap. So I have like an arsenal of 3D projects that we're kind of rolling through. 
And then also we're gonna throw in some techniques to show you different ways that you can stamp and maybe you have some stuff that you forgot that you had. And this way you can pull it out and start using it because you girls are at home, you probably have stuff. I'm guessing you have stuff. If you're even like, like a tenth of me, you have stuff. And it's nice to get it out and use it. So like in this case, it just took a little bit of paper to make this little treat box. So, um, so tomorrow night, we're going to make another little 3D treat box, I think is what it was Bonnie's little B one. And then on Thursday, we're going to do the online class. I'm going to put together the three cheers for you. I'm going to just flip down real quick so you can see it. This is what you have to look forward to on Thursday night. So again, I have three of these kits available if anybody local wants to get one from me and, um, and put it together with me. But it makes, I believe, 16 cards, three times four, 12 cards. So kit is all inclusive. It gets you a little bit of stamps and some dimensionals and all the paper for it. Um, so yeah, that's Thursday night. And then you know what? Friday we'll do a technique because Angela's anxious to see something um, with technique related. So I promise her we do that. And then we'll have the weekend and then we'll be back to next week. So wow, Monday night is my online class too with the three cards. So if anybody wants to sign up for some for that class, you just gotta let me know so I can have the card kits ready for you in time. Or you could get the completed card. So all right, girls. I think that's it. Short, sweet, and to the point. I hope that everybody's doing um, well. You're staying healthy and happy and sassy and wise, all of the good stuff. So, all right, we'll tune in tomorrow, sometime after five, and I'll try to prep you on like a little post about what time it's going to be at, so what I'm shooting for. All right, love you all. Sunshine, hugs, happiness, love to all of you. Bye.